Hey everybody, I wanted to hop on and make a quick video about how to make your meals when there's more than just you in the house. I get the question all the time, can I just eat what I regularly eat? And how do I make meals for my family? Well, I have to make two extra, you know, I have to cook for myself and then cook for my family. So today is kind of a special day. It is my son's birthday and we're going to have a big birthday party and... Um, my husband's folks are coming over and my folks are so Irish grandparents are all going to be here and I've got to make this big meal. Huh, I do. So what I want to show you is exactly what I'm going to be making and how I use the fix, the 21 day fix, to um, make that all happen and not um, be against what I'm trying to accomplish for myself. So let's just start with, this. okay, so this whole menu is Ira, so it's his, his birthday, it's his request. So we're starting off with some homegrown beef here. I've been marinating, this is uh, cube steak, and I've been marinating it in Italian dressing for several hours. And it is the Newman's own salad dressing. So what I try to do is make sure that I choose a brand that it has a good reputation and isn't loaded with, you know, preservatives or I call them poisons. <laughs> and yeah, Newman's Own is a good brand that I like. Uh, our gro our local grocery store doesn't really carry any organic um, Italian dressing, so I like Newman's Own. Um, and okay, of course, it's got added oil and stuff like that in it, but where we're going to be frying that up and using it, it is more um, kind of the 80-20 rule. So I'm not really worried about whether I count that or not. I'm just marinating the meat in that. And my focus is on something that is clean. Um, next to over here in this pot, we have, I'm upstaging our guest here. <laughs> over here in the pot, we've got some potatoes. Idaho potatoes, that, which is also his request. He loves mashed potatoes. And gravy, so I've chopped them up. I'll boil them up to make mashed potatoes here shortly. So um, we're, we're not going to follow, you know, like the calorie part exactly, but it is important to me that I make it taste good for the family and I use clean ingredients. So what I did was I bought real butter. There's nothing wrong with eating butter. Butter is awesome. You, you just um, don't want to eat lots of it all the time, right? But this is a birthday party, so it's special. So a clean ingredient. I got organic sour cream. I don't mind sour cream. Um, the problem with non-organic sour cream is that it is loaded with all kinds of weird stuff that your body doesn't recognize as food source of fat. So I'm going to put this in the mashed potatoes to make them nice and yummy. And, um, yeah, so those two things in the mashed potatoes, I'll whip them up, make them all yummy. Um, gravy. <laughs> so if you have to buy things in packets, I was pretty impressed to find organic um, brown gravy. I really love brown gravy, so I'm doing that. And then our good old country-style gravy, because we're going to make chicken fried steak here, I did... Um, it's McCormick's, and the cool thing about it, most gravies, the problem with them in the packets, you know, because this is way easier, right? You just add the milk and kind of cook it up, and it's easy. And I'm into easy. <laughs> um, these guys are catching on. No MSG in this. So that is really cool to me. There's some other things in here, but so I'm, I don't buy this all the time, but since it's a special occasion, we are going to use this. I'm just happy they didn't put MSG in it. We're going to do some coleslaw, because he wanted that too. So I just got the kits. Uh, you know, it's just real whole foods chopped up that they put into a bag, so nothing wrong with that. Uh, then the next thing that we're going to do is I've got um, a whole bag, a big old huge bag of zucchini, and I'm just going to slice these puppies up and saute them, along with um, mushrooms, and I don't have my onion out here, but I'm going to do mushrooms and an onion all sauteed up together to create a dish. Really simple ingredients that will taste awesome. I'll probably put some garlic salt and to season that. Um, I really wanted apple cider, so I got this big gallon jar. 
smoke of it. Apple juice, fat free, no preservatives. Cool. So for our appetizer, um, we don't, you know, it's funny with my family, we don't really get into like big, huge loads of, 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 of um, appetizers. So what Ira wanted was chips and salsa. The salsa has pretty much good stuff in it. And then these chips, there's not really a ton of things wrong with them either. So then, oh, let me grab, I'll show you what I got. So the ice cream, I got, I found some organic vanilla. He wanted vanilla. It's crazy. You think ice cream is just milk and cream, but it's nuts how they put a bunch of crap in here. Um, so this is organic, and whenever anything's organic, you can buy it rest assured. Doesn't mean it's sugar-free or fat-free, but it is organic, so it's not poison. Like, your body's going to recognize everything that's in here. Um, same thing, I like Breyers brand. You can usually find a natural variety of Breyers. So you can read the ingredients and it's like cream, milk, sugar, words you can, you, you can pronounce. So, and then my grandma made the cake. And uh, that's going to be our meal. Ah, give it up. Yeah, the girl. All right. Hey, later, daters. Happy birthday to my son.